I think that the biggest problem with math is a branding issue, where people think that math is rote, boring, and about memorization. If you ask me what math is, I'll say math is actually the distilled heart of thinking. It's logic. It's thinking about ways that if something was true, then something else is always true. And as you learn how to assemble these chains of logic, you can use that skill for anything. So actually, my real goal is to help build the world to be a more thinking place. The man in front of the class is no ordinary math teacher. This is so good. And the kids in the chairs are no ordinary students. They are the U.S. team for the International Math Olympiad, the best high school math minds in the country. My angle as a coach is actually a little bit different from what some people might expect. I actually don't optimize for whether or not the team will win in this particular competition that's coming up. And this is a conversation I actually had with the executive director of the Mathematical Association of America when I was picked to take this role as coach. The goal is to not only teach skills that could be useful in this contest, but to also show how the math that they're working on could be used later to do other things, and also to talk about some of the other skills that one might need besides mathematics. The biggest difference between a math competition problem and a textbook problem is that in the textbook problem, you were supposed to already have been taught how to solve it. That's actually why it's a textbook problem. Whereas a math competition problem is specifically selected based on the ingenuity of the problem and the hope that you won't know how to solve it when you see it. And actually, that's why I think everybody benefits from playing with math competition problems. They teach you how to invent new ways to think about challenges. And the kinds of challenges we face in this world today are not textbook problems. Well, right now we're dealing with COVID. <laughs> if that was a textbook problem, we'd be done by now. And so the real purpose of everyone engaging in these math contest problems is so that people can get a chance to exercise that creative muscle when it comes to creating analytical ideas. Honestly, the task of improving math education is hard. I have the utmost respect for the people who are working on this all the time. But if I could make a few suggestions. I would actually suggest to focus on having people spend more time thinking about how they might come up with an idea on how to solve a problem, as opposed to having students be used to the idea that someone else is going to show them what to do and then they're just going to copy it. That's actually what I do in my own teaching. I actually don't want to show students what to do and have them copy. I want to bring them along to help them also discover the reason why you should multiply those two numbers. It's because of something that you came up with. My favorite aspect of being a coach is the opportunity to see people who are so much more talented than me and to know that the future is bright. That gives me the optimism to keep carrying forward in life. <laughs>